So hey guys, it is Friday night and I am so, so excited. And I think I am going to do a weekend vlog because I haven't just done a, a normal non beach vlog in a while. And I don't know, it feels like it's time. I am so excited to be home right now because it has been raining for like three days straight in Sarasota. Uh, specifically the past two days, I've had to close the place where I work in the rain. <laughs> So I'm very happy to be home. I actually need to take a shower because I'm actually strangely cold from being out in the rain. Um, I'm also getting everything ready for my cosplay costume because I got two, two packages in the mail today that are cosplay stuff. And so I think my costume is done now. Okay, so here's what was in my bag. I've got uh, some fingerless gloves, a choker, which unbeknownst to me was in the size small. Thankfully it fits. Um, because when I held it up, I was like, okay, this is, what, what is this, a choker for ants? <laughs> but yeah, it's really small. And then, uh, dun -dun 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 -dun. I couldn't resist getting this. And so I think this is what I'm doing tonight. I have a feeling, I just saw Jaws in the theater, but this DVD comes with the documentary, The Shark is Still Working, I think is what it's called. Yes, the shark is still working, and it's a documentary about the making of it, and it has like the original cast and Steven Spielberg. So I think this is gonna be my after shower pajamas, lounge on the sofa, watch this documentary for tonight. Okay guys, it's happening. Time to watch the shark is still working. Well, good morning everyone. It is now Saturday, and I have a bone to pick with Florida. Can you tell how bright and sunny it is today? Seriously, it has rained every single morning this week. Um, the past three days at work, it has been like storming on my way into work. And today, beautiful and sunny. And I know that sounds strange, but it's just so cozy to sleep in when it's rainy and just dark. And of course today at 7 a.m., sun beaming in my window and waking me up. Good news is that Brittany's coming over and because of that, she inspired me to clean up my apartment. So now everything is clean. I can actually like show without any qualms. So last night after I said I was going to watch the documentary, that's exactly what I did. I watched The Shark is Still Working, which I thought it was, I thought it was pretty good, but didn't quite live up to my hype that I'd put in my mind from waiting so long to, uh, to finally see it. I was a really big Jaws fan as a kid, so I watched pretty much every single making of video that you can find out there. So I think that might be part of it, is I already knew everything, but it was still cool. I would still recommend it if you have the Blu-ray. And then after that, I ended up watching Mulan for the very first time. I know, I can't, I can't believe that, that was my very first time ever seeing Mulan. But up until a couple of years ago, I had never seen Hercules or Hunchback either. And I bought those on a whim and watched them. I loved both of them, so it wasn't surprising to me that I ended up liking Mulan, but I think it just, it came out, I was in middle school, so I was too cool for Disney at that point. Like, I really enjoyed it. I, I'm i glad that between the trackers and the Disney Double Dose and the Ears to You vlog that were all mentioning Mulan this past week, that you've put the subliminal messages in my head that I had to watch it, because I loved it. It was great. Okay, so Brittany came over and now we're going to the mall to get lunch. And as you can see, it is dark and stormy over there. And perfectly sunny here, because that's Florida for you. <laughs> but we're gonna go get some pizza and it's gonna be delicious. Candy here. <laughs> oh, she's being awkward already. Hi, Brittany. I already told them you're here, so okay. they already know. <laughs> I didn't even know you said anything, but hey, yeah, how's so it going? <laughs> say hi to everyone. So we're here at Red Pies. We're getting lunch, and I just made her feel really awkward. Pizza, you did. Awesome. <laughs> I didn't know we were vlogging. <laughs> oh, we <laughs> are. Yeah, this place is cool because you, they make it like good thicker sauces in your cheese and everything. They make it right here. And they stick it in the oven. It's like a subway for pizza. Yeah, it's what I call it. A subway for pizza, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. So fun watching everyone make their pizzas. Pizza and she's giving it a pep talk. I'm telling it to be itself. She doesn't know what it is right now, but it will. <laughs> she doesn't, she's not quite sure what she's gonna do with it. She's got no. tomato sauce and garlic so far. Now we've got cheese. We have, um, and spinach and arugula. Oh, yeah. Looking good. They are cooking in there. Stick mine in. Yeah. 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 Ye
pizza. Here's our finished masterpieces. Oh, Brittany man. got. Yeah. No, you name it all. No, name it all, please. Let's see. <laughs> she got feta cheese. Oh, she got yes. tomato sauce, feta cheese, uh, artichokes, tomatoes, onions, garlic, huh? oregano, yep, and, and peppers. And red peppers. Red peppers. Yep. Oh, yep. She did good. She did good. Yeah. Why did you get Liz? I paid attention. I got. There it is. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> pesto, mozzarella, feta, black olives, and caramelized onions. Oh, and there's garlic under there too. So. Doesn't that empty. look awesome though? It's empty. It has an empty soul. It's not empty. It looks so good. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I'm going to eat now. I'm back from my pizza lunch date with Brittany. Um, we hung out pretty much all afternoon, but we were having lots of girl talk, so I didn't really feel much else. But I came home hoping to get my nerd block because my nerd block is sitting up at the front office and they were already closed. So no nerd block. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for the rest of my evening. My evening plans have been set. Uh, I was talking to my friend Jeff on Twitter because he just saw that I watched Mulan for the first time and came to the light that I've never seen Tarzan either. So, <laughs> tonight I'm going to watch Tarzan. It's just going to be a Disney movie weekend. Uh, but for now, I am going to go get some frozen yogurt because I love frozen yogurt. And there's a place that I haven't tried yet. And so I think I want some frozen yogurt and some Tarzan and that's going to be my super exciting Saturday night. Okay, so I have my yummy frozen yogurt full of fruit and some free pebbles, some sprinkles, some mochi. It's gonna be delicious. So that was really funny because when I went to walk out of the frozen yogurt place, my next door neighbor was walking in. <laughs> so I don't know very many people in Sarasota, but it was my next door neighbor going to eat yogurt as well. So <laughs> must be a popular place. Okay, so I watched Tarzan. It was good. It didn't replace any of my favorites. Um, I, I've known the soundtrack for a while. I bought the soundtrack when I was like a freshman in high school and listened to it constantly, just never saw the movie. But I'm a big Phil Collins fan, so it makes sense. Um, so it didn't beat out any of my favorites, whereas I think Mulan might have stepped ahead of some of my others. But the soundtrack is definitely really high up there. <laughs> and then I spent basically the past 30 minutes on Twitter <laughs> with Disney at Heart, the Disney Double Dose and Ears to You vlog, which are all uh, great Disney theme park vloggers that you guys should all check out. <laughs> and we've all been chatting, trying to plan a trip together. So we'll see if it happens. Maybe some somehow we can make this work. Obviously, um, as I said, and um, got some <laughs> got some flack for it, but I'm I'm the easiest because I live 90 minutes away. But they're all over the mid to south. United States so we'll see if we can ever make that happen but it would be amazing because I've been watching their vlogs and it's been really fun chatting with all of them so we'll cross our fingers maybe we can make something happen well good morning everyone it is now Sunday and I'm about to have the breakfast of champions which is my leftover pizza from yesterday it's gonna be amazing and then I am going to run errands. I have to buy a new bedding set because my sheets, like my fitted sheet has a giant hole in it all of a sudden. Oh, thanks, Florida. 100 degrees. Wonderful. Target was a bust on sheets, but at least I got my Venti refresher. And look at how cute it is for summer. I love the sunglasses. Adorable Starbucks. Okay, this is really bad. That Bath & Beyond makes me want all of the things. Random kitchen supplies? I totally need those. Like, I totally need a bird, ladybug, or kitty. <gasps> Penguin timer! I totally need that. I actually got these from Mike's dad for Christmas last year. It's a thing that you, like, you insert it in your beer bottle and it keeps the beer cold. So you put it in the freezer first, and you insert it in the beer bottle, and it keeps your beer cold while you're drinking it. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, success. Found my plum sheets. We're good to go. Okay, so I found my sheets and I got a new pillow. It's kind of painful that some sheets and a pillow were $90, but the sheets lasted me three years previously. So $60 for sheets lasted three years. That's a pretty good deal. And $30 for the pillow. But I have bought, like, I think three different Target pillows in the past two years. And I just keep having to replace them because they're not very good quality. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to spend the $30 on a pillow. It's got a 15-year warranty and hope that it works out. <laughs> Uh, but it's still painful to spend $90 on some sheets and a pillow. 
it looks like I'm heading home just in time as it's turning black over there. <laughs> oh, nice and black. Yep. That's Florida. Okay, so I found this recipe for buffalo cauliflower bites. I'm a pretty big fan of Jenna Marbles and her YouTube channel and her and her boyfriend actually made a similar recipe to this the other day and it looked amazing. So I'm going to try it out and I think that'll be the end of today's vlog. Okay, so I've got my chopped and cleaned cauliflower and then we made a simple batter. It's just half a cup of flour, half a cup of water, and then a teaspoon of garlic powder. We're gonna dip the cauliflower in the batter and then transfer it onto this parchment lined baking sheet. Okay, so I still have a bunch of cauliflower left, but my tray is full and that is certainly plenty for me. So I'm just gonna bag that and save that for another time and we're gonna pop this into the oven for 25 minutes. Okay, so while that's cooking, I put half a cup of Frank's Red Hot wing sauce and two tablespoons of butter to make this and then it's just waiting to coat the cauliflower once they finish with their first part of baking. And they're off. All right, so they are done with their first bit of cooking and now I'm gonna cover them with the buffalo sauce. Okay, so they're all coated and going back in the oven for eight to 10 minutes. So here you go, guys. Here is the final product. I got some carrots and some ranch and some blue cheese and my cauliflower bites and they look so good. I can't wait to try them. So here's the verdict. I think they taste good, but they didn't stay crispy. They were crispy when they first got in the oven. Now that they've been sitting on my plate for a little bit, the first half were really good and then the second half now I'm like mm, they're mushy and so I don't know I may have, maybe I should have kept them in a little longer so they taste good just might need to work on getting them a little crispier because the texture kind of messes with the fact that it's clearly cauliflower <laughs> it's just a really good like um vegetarian version if you can't eat chicken and definitely a whole lot less calories than actual buffalo chicken but I don't know. I don't know if that was a win for me. But that is going to be the end for this vlog because I need to stop and actually have some time to edit this together and get it up tomorrow. So hopefully you guys enjoyed joining me for my weekend. My next few weekends are going to be crazy. I'm going to Disney next weekend. I'm very excited about that. Michael's going to join me. We're going to do a whole Disney day. And then the following weekend is Comic Con, which I decided just not to bother doing my costume. It's just going to be a surprise for you guys. And then the following weekend, I am going to Texas to celebrate my two-year anniversary with Mike. And it sounds like we're going to San Antonio, so that'll be fun. But obviously, there's a bunch more videos to come before all of that happens. So uh, thanks for joining me for my weekend, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!